today's recipe, I'll need some bok choy. Good. Some Chinese cabbage. Some white celery mustard. Some Chinese mustard cabbage. And some pak choy. What? Well, bok choy, Chinese cabbage, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same. And it's powerful medicine, especially when it comes to getting your vitamins and preventing colorectal cancer. With just nine calories in a cup, you're loading up on vitamin C, A, and folate. Folate's an essential B vitamin to help prevent birth defects and heart disease. So stick around, because today I'm making a Chef MD approved shiitake scented hot, sweet, and sour chicken stew with bok choy. Making stews is all about building layers of flavor one on top of another and this stew is a fabulous one that's low in calories, low in sodium, low in carbohydrates and is good for people who are trying to lose weight. So let me show you how to make it. This pan's already hot so I'm going to add a little bit of sesame oil to it and then the chicken thighs. That's the sound you want. Garlic and red pepper. Let that saute for just a couple of minutes while you get your mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms actually help you regenerate liver cells and they're very tasty. And we're going to add those with two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. I told you this dish was low sodium, only 339 milligrams of sodium in the whole dish and it's in part because of this good low sodium soy sauce. The next step in this dish is to add chicken broth and apple cider vinegar. Now I'm adding this all at once. You're going to actually want to let this cook for five or six minutes so that the mushrooms cook down, so that the chicken flavors develop. The next step, bok choy. Bok choy is our food as medicine ingredient of the day and it's a cruciferous vegetable. Cruciferous vegetables are great for preventing cancer and there are lots of cruciferous vegetables. Now, to thicken it, I'm going to add the cornstarch slurry first. Now, you notice that the cornstarch has settled to the bottom because I've mixed it with a quarter cup of the chicken broth, just one and a half tablespoons of the cornstarch. I'm just going to stir so it becomes nice and milky and then add to the simmering stew, turn up the heat and as soon as it comes to a boil, it will start to thicken and then we'll know to add the bok choy. It takes up lots of volume, it adds green and crisp flavor, a little like a cabbage but with an oriental flair. Ooh boy, I'm hungry. Brown rice first. This whole dish is just 351 calories for one serving. You never get this much food for 350 calories, especially 350 calories that are good for you. Top with a sprinkle of green onion or cilantro for more color and still more flavor. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Shantani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John Lapuma. Oh, that's great. Dr. John Lapuma, professionally trained chef and internist, appears courtesy of ChefMD.com. Visit ChefMD online to learn more.